Hey there, welcome to Project I Want to Live. I'm Vanna. And I'm Melissa, and thanks for tuning in. So, this video today is supposed to be an update on where we are in our journey. And today is way past July 11th, and for those that have tuned in, we had a certain goal that we were supposed to hit by July 11th. So prior to us doing this video tonight, me and Vanna had a long talk about our journey, where we're at, what we've been going through, and vice versa. So we're just going to come out and say it. I have not hit the goal. I have not lost 100 pounds yet. We said that by July 11th, I was going to hit 100 pounds. In our last video, it was definitely an emotional breakthrough. But ironically, I thought and you thought that was the breakthrough video. Mm -hmm. But really, it wasn't. It was setting me up for the breakthrough that I just had this last week. So you're probably like, what the hell is she talking about? So I've been on this journey, right, to lose 100 pounds, and it's been crazy. So many ups and downs, so much emotion, so much fight, so much sweat, so much tears. And then we set this date. All right, we're going to hit it. July 11th, that's it. No excuses. But what happens when July 11th comes and you don't hit the goal? Most people would what? Give up, be upset, be insecure. But believe it or not, Right now, I am the happiest I have ever been because the last seven, eight months, myself and Vanna have been trying to figure out what's going on, how to break plateau, how to do this, how to change blah, blah, all this just craziness. And throughout the time, we've been doing these videos about the emotional breakthroughs and accepting yourself and all this stuff. But really inside... I was saying to you all, I was accepting it. I was saying to her, I was accepting it. But really, my brain just couldn't rack around why, how hard this is and why I'm not there yet. But finally, I really get that concept when you set it free, when you set whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish free. And if it's meant to be, it will be. I finally really get that because I have let go of everything of everyone's opinion, of every plan, of every exercise, of just I've just let go and I finally feel like I'm in the mental space where I deserve to lose the weight and hit the goal because it was such a rocky roll this last year. And I'm not sure if I'm making any sense. Maybe she can jump in and kind of tr try to clarify the message I'm trying to give. But Yes, I have not lost 100 pounds yet. No, there is no weight update. Yes, I've been in a plateau for freaking this whole entire year of 2015. But you know what? It's okay. Because you know why? Because I'm okay. Because I'm living a lifestyle that's full of health, yes. self-love, and abundance. So you know what that means? If I keep doing the things that it takes to lose weight, I will get to 100 pounds. Did I want to get there in two years? Yes. Did I want to get there in two years and six months, which was what July 11th was to the day? I did. But you know what? It didn't happen. So what does that mean? I'm just going to keep going. Can you? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. We set that free. We're there. We're in that place. Freedom. And it feels good. It does feel good. It does. So yeah, pretty much that's really what it is. You know, at the end of the day, it's, you know, we can hear something over and over and over again. It's like, okay, it is so simple. Let me just do this, this, and this, and I'm going to get what I want. But a lot of times, it's really hard to grasp the concept mentally, emotionally, and when your thoughts and your emotions are in one place, and you have to fight so hard to get through that, you don't know what that's like until you've been in that place. So... That's why I'm really proud of Melissa and where she is right now because it doesn't matter what anyone says. Someone can say, eat this, do that, do, you know, whatever. But if it doesn't come from within and if you don't have that experience yourself, it's not going to happen. And being in the place where you're just trying to, all right, let me find a reason why it's not working. Let me see why, you know, I'm not there yet. Instead of focusing on, you know what, let me just... Just let it all go and focus on one thing at a time. Let me, okay, it's morning. Let me have breakfast. I'm going to go work out today. Let me do that. I'm going to, you know, and just kind of, it's like a freeing feeling, like what we're talking about. So mm -hmm. 
I'm just really excited for us and at this point that we're at right now because I have that confidence of, no, like at the end of the day, it doesn't matter when it happens. Yes. Are we goal oriented people? Absolutely. And really the whole message here is if you just set your goal free, your desire, your want, and just focus on the things that will get you closer to that and not worrying about it, it's going to happen. And that is creating the confidence. Yeah. For months and months and months and months, I kept digging and digging and digging and digging and digging. Like, why? I'm doing everything right. I don't understand why the scale is not moving. And I was just so stuck on that. And then we had emotional videos where it was just like the confession of, you know, of the the whole process. And when I say this has been a mind, body, and soul journey, it really has. But the last few months, my mind has been separated from my body. My soul has been freaking confused. But for the first time, I feel like everything is one. So because not everything is one, I'm able to move forward. And this might make absolutely no sense to you. But if you're on a journey in your life, whether it's relationship, financial, weight loss, I think you'll relate to what I'm saying. Or if you're about to start a journey, this will make sense to you. I have wanted it so damn bad that the want made me blind to everything else. Made me blind to how far we've come. It made me blind to how much change that has happened. Mm -hmm. And I was just so stuck. Right now, I feel like everything is connected. Everything is grounded. And because it's grounded, I'm very clear. I'm not emotional. I'm not so stuck how it's July and I haven't made any progress because... I am doing what I need to do, and I'm going to get there. So that being said, maybe in the next video, I will lose some weight. Maybe I won't. But the point is, we are not the people that we were when we started. So I hope this video made sense to you. It made a lot of sense to us. So um, keep on being happy. I don't know. I don't have to end (laughs) We're just going to keep going. I'm just going to keep going. I don't know how to end this, but... Bye, guys. That's it. (laughs) That's it. We have boot camp tomorrow. So if you're in Jersey, we'd like to see you. Yes. (laughs) Talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.